it is well before sunrise. There's a hints of the sunrise out there looking impressive. The sun can hold a little bit of its own beneath that for just a few moments. There could be a nice, nice glow in the morning. I'm going to head up to uh, the top of one of the peaks nearby. Just get a nice view of the the overall you know valley and the, the, the rolling sets of mountains here. The sky is shaped up quite well and I found some very interesting rock formations behind me. The hope they catch some morning light and you can see Bad Water Basin kind of down in the background there. So uh, this bull perch is pretty good. I've got things uh, you know to you know behind me to to the west, sun coming up that way, lighting up things behind me, as well as the valley itself. You know, the valley itself uh, that starts to get some some morning light. The the clouds are starting to break up a bit, so there may more light to trickle through. And then there's a nice sweeping curve. If I can get myself out far enough that uh, I'd be able to, to frame that up and have that kind of, you know, the sunlight like cradling the valley, or I should say the valley cradling the sunlight. One of the scenes framing up, waiting for sun to rise. It's a nice little shape of rock there. The camera left, the camera right, being anchored by that little peak that's out there. And then you've got the bad water basin in the, in the distance. That's all shaping up to be a really nice shot. And I hope the microphone's getting picked up. My, uh, my neck warmer's in the way. <laughs> I'm grabbing a, another framing, a little bit different uh, on the basin where I'm just using this uh, this one outcropping of rock that's that's to my right shoulder. Uh, not so much to naturally frame the basin, but more push the eye to the basin in the background. The, the basin's ultimately the subject, even though it's so far away, and looking for things to kind of you know, guide the eye, narrow the scope. It's a simpler composition than the previous one where I was trying to use two things to kind of uh, naturally vignette almost the bottom. And uh, yeah, but yeah, I don't know. My instinct tells me that that first composition, you almost have to like climb over the rocks to get to the interesting part. Uh, the second one I think is uh, simplified. I think it's gonna make a stronger photo. I'll know for sure when I see them both on the big screen. When you're out in the field, get the shots, you get the assets, and then you figure things out, uh, which one's the best when you get back into the studio. into the, the basin is interesting. And I uh, got actually low. This is one of the few times I actually kicked the legs out to the sides on the tripod to get this low, to shoot through this uh, this little arch. Uh, I mean, uh, being generous with the term arch, I mean, it's uh, yes, it's an arch, but it's not something I could walk or even crawl through. But it does make an interesting photo. I think I'm gonna have to focus stack this one because I'm reasonably close. And even, uh, you know, when I focus on the, the things that are through the arch, the arch becomes soft and vice versa. So I'll grab a few photos, different focal uh, points, and uh, worry about blending them later. The sun is trying to push through and uh, it's struggling a little bit, but the, the soft purples and blues they're, they're pleasing, they're nice. I will grab a few photos of this because uh, it's, it's just a pleasant, pleasant sky, a pleasant scene. It's very peaceful. And maybe with the trail leading out to the, the clouds there, I get a little bit higher to get some separation between this little peak and the distance. That should be pretty nice. Morning light has come and, uh, and gone, and there wasn't much of it. 
little sliver happened out of the horizon and that bank of clouds just you know, swallowed it up. So uh, I'll spend a little more time here just enjoying the view for sure. But uh, also uh, just to the east, you know, there's a bit different uh, layers of hills and there's nuances of color out there, nuances. <laughs> So uh, that'll that'll be the rest of uh, of this morning. Which, you know, how can, how can I complain about a place like this? Uh, you know, um, Death Valley is just absolutely fantastic. <laughs>